Hey folks, it's Duke here, looking at a 2022 model. It's a Montana High Country 351 VH. That's a bunkhouse. So we'll take a look at some of the features on the outside, then we'll take a look at the floor plan. Start out looking at this uh, sticker over here with your stats on it. So this one has a uh, unloaded vehicle weight of 13,190 pounds. I'll post the hitch weight on here in later in the video. There is your electronic leveling system, controls to raise and lower your rig as you're putting on your truck in there, very conveniently located there where you can see the kingpin right there from the uh, location there where you are making the adjustments. So I'm gonna walk around the back and uh, take a look at the storage in the back. It does have the uh, road armor suspension that's got a total of six inches of play, three inches up, three inches down. Uh, reduces the wear and tear on your rig from the road. Oh, did you see that light come on? That's a storage area in the back. There's no battery in this one right now, but it is running because there is a 200 watt solar panel up on the roof. And it does have a solar charge controller. So it's got a two burner cooktop, a fridge, and a uh, nice compartment right there. So that is a uh, outdoor kitchen and it's even got this uh, Montana cutting board here that I guess you can take this out and put it up on the uh, this area right here it's kind of a nice touch a little built-in place to put your cutting board right here I'm trying to do that with one hand so you can just stow that out of the way I'm gonna back away here and take a look at it from this side you see the windows on the camp side up top there is a uh, air 360 uh, wine guard system with 200 watt solar panel up there and you see the awnings there's one up in the front section over that stairwell door entry area and also one that extends out over this awning it's got a walkable roof of course all Montanas have a walkable roof and a ladder is included you see those windows in the back because it's a bunkhouse so it's got windows like that. So we'll take a quick peek inside this uh, pass-through storage here if I can open this with one hand. All right. So this goes all the way through. There is the uh, double welded aluminum. It's, it's welded on each side. That's high quality construction. There's vapor barrier right there. Nice big area here to uh, store your items, whatever it is that's convenient for you. Makes your life easier. You can see the PEX plumbing. That's the sprayer hose for the outdoor shower. There's a place to hook up your TV. And it's on an inverted outlet. That's from the uh, solar system. We'll go ahead and take a peek at that uh, inverter. Let me go ahead and latch this. Uh, there we go. So that is a uh, inverter right there and there's a solar charge controller. This is your quick disconnect for your battery, that little red dial right there. You can just click that if you ever want to disconnect the battery, keep it from uh, going dead while you're storing the RV. Alright, so we're going to head up these uh, solid looking steps here, it's the step above system and they do make contact with the ground very stable very good way to enter and exit the vehicle very safe uh, it's got the four season living it means it's very well insulated that's a solar flex 200 okay so we are inside the rig and this one has a uh, slide out right here that's got a dinette you see that accent lighting a little bit of a glare today but uh there is a dinette and theater seating right there, all surrounded by these windows. So you'll have a nice view of wherever your backyard is, your campsite, wherever you are that particular day. There's also a little sofa there. That's a trifold sofa that makes into a bed. So here is the theater seating. You can take this armrest out if you want to make it into a cozy seating area for two. You want to sit next to each other. That's romantic. That's nice. If, and then there's a place to put your cups right there and uh, directly across from there you've got the entertainment area with the uh, fireplace it provides electric heat and ambiance 
there's your stereo system stereo speakers and your sound system is uh, right here behind this little uh, glass door and there's a place to store some remotes and things like that and this TV is on a swivel got some storage up there and I skipped over their storage right here above this uh, trifold sofa so you've got storage up there let's go ahead and take a look inside and see how deep that is it's about nine inches deep or so uh, so you could store some items up there there's a couple of different uh, cabinets there storage here now that's a little deeper that's over a foot deep maybe about a foot and a half or so maybe even deeper than that uh, so if you've had an RV and you uh, got home and realized you needed a place to put all your stuff and you didn't have it and you realize how important it is to look at this storage uh, here is some storage down here and there is a uh, small pantry door on each side of this microwave and then there's a storage area up here so lots of storage and there is a pantry I haven't even gotten to that but underneath this island you've got four drawers and then uh, under sink cabinet space there while we're looking at the sink you see it's got uh, stainless steel there's a big sink and then a smaller one right next to it and there are uh, some uh, inserts that go in there if you want to make this into more counter space if you want to customize it there's one for each side of the sink but there is a large basin here that will fit pots and pans and you can still have a place to rinse things off so you it's got some versatility there is a leaf that comes up right there on the end of the island let's go ahead and look at it from this other side you can see that sorry about the camera work so you've got that leaf and there's some plugs on the other side there so you could plug in your small appliances you got a little uh nook here for your coffee pot different espresso machine whatever you want to put over there and then there's storage up above and below and then you have a, a large pantry right here so that is a good size pantry holds a bunch of stuff so no problem with storage on this particular one and if you're going to have a bunkhouse uh, it's good to have storage because you're going to have more people that's why you need this residential fridge it's got a nice freezer sorry about that and there's an ice maker in there it's got some instructions so let's go ahead and take a look inside the bunk room so this one you go up these stairs right here and you notice that light came on all running on solar power so they're a little dim because there's no battery and it's a little overcast right now it may not look like it but the sun is not actually out right now it's still powering that solar panel enough to keep these lights on so You've got a ladder right here for the top bunk. A little bit of a glare here, but it's a good sized bunk. Uh, you get a six foot tall person. I mean, it's very wide. You can put a couple of kids in here, no problem on each bunk. And the nice thing about this lower bunk, if you have a small child and you're worried about them falling off the bed, well, they're only gonna fall about three inches. So there is no problem there. If they roll off the bed or something like that, you could put in a young, toddler down there and still feel okay about that uh, so uh, that is the bunk room there is a puck lighting you can turn on the light there if you see those two little plugs over there in the corner that's a 110 in USB so you've got somebody who wants to uh, operate their devices they've got their own windows that's a big deal to have windows and a place to plug in air conditioning vents this is all ducted so it's a very comfortable place for a teenager or even an adult to, to uh, spend a little time relaxing, uh, having a little extra space, place to sleep. All right, so we're going to head up to the front, take a look at, well, as we go up the stairs, you see the road vac, that's indoor-outdoor vacuum cleaner, and the hose is underneath in the storage area. There is your uh, breaker box right there, fuse panel, place to hang up some coats jackets then a place to hang some keys that's right when you come in the door so that's conveniently located a little handrail here for helping you get up the stairwell here and so this has a uh, corner shower and then the washer dryer is in this closet right here if you're going to put a washer dryer in but it's a big open area 
kind of similar to what they call the master suite not it's not quite as big but uh, this area here is where you could put a washer dryer if you're not going to use it for a washer dryer you could use it for just storage of all kinds of stuff and there's additional storage space up there so no problem here if you're doing some full-time use here this one's got plenty of storage space it's got a well-positioned toilet little cabinet right there to put some additional toiletries it's well lit here in the bathroom with natural light because you've got that skylight and uh, a vent fan that's gonna let some light in all right so in the bedroom you have the king bed on a slide out so that gives you plenty of room to walk around the bed on each side just going to show you that you can get on the bed from either side room to make the bed too that's kind of nice in RV and you've got these shelves up above the bed where you can put a CPAP machine there's a plug right over there and uh, there should be a plug on this side I'm looking for it but there's definitely one on that side over there and then there is some closet space here I'm going to go ahead and open that up and back away take a look at that so you've got closet space on each side a shelf up there and then you're giving up a little bit of closet space to get this big window so that's some RV luxury right there you've got a window here and here also in each side of the bed so if you like to enjoy or actually there's a there's a window on one side of the bed so when you're over here you've got a sort of a there's that one's closed right now that blind but you've got a somewhat panoramic view over here but it, it's a really nice feeling to be able to see what's going on you can raise that blind up and greet the day and see how the weather looks uh, the mountains whatever's out there uh, right now there's RVs being moved it's interesting if you're waking up and you're seeing that it's something to look at but whatever's going on you have a view of it right here in the front and you've got a uh, good space here in these huge drawers uh, lots of space there those are good sized drawers and then you've got this uh, some uh, storage space there also so you got room and you could put some uh, shoes in there if you wanted to also there's a shelf there you could put some shoes on residential hinges place to hang up clothes so I appreciate you viewing my video here is a dresser chest of drawers uh, you could put the uh, TV right here. There's a mounting bracket and connections for it. Here's where you hook up that Air 360 system right there. We can go over all the details with you. So uh, my name is Duke. I appreciate you watching my video. I'll be happy to help you. One thing that you might uh, have seen on some other RVs when you're on this side over here, there's like a lip and you could stub your toe on it. Uh, Mont uh, the Montana Keystone Montana engineers have engineered this where it is flush and you don't have that lip there and this is not a carpet it's more of a plastic material so small dogs won't be attracted to it but hey thanks again looks like the Sun's coming out just a little bit that's great gonna have a nice looking afternoon here in the Houston Texas area I would be happy to hear from you my cell phone number is going to be in the description below uh, it's 281 Four six seven zero six five nine. Appreciate you viewing the video, and I'll be happy to help you if you have any questions. Uh, if you are interested in this RV or any of the ones I feature on my channel, I'll be happy to get you numbers, get you a trade-in number on yours, an accurate number. I just have to spend a little time going through it with you. Look at those nice lighting fixtures. You can't really see them because of the glare. So let me turn that off so you can see those. You see, they got some really nice looking lighting fixtures right there. Those cool looking light bulbs. Yeah, so we would disclose all the, I would disclose all the uh, numbers, the title, fees are just a few hundred dollars, uh, standard stuff, no extra fees. We don't charge any hidden fees, extra fees, no prep fees. It comes with the, a battery and the propane. We're not gonna charge you extra for a ladder or a spare tire. And then, so you show up here, no surprises, sign the paperwork. If, if there's financing, you'll already know. We have you pre-approved, you'll know the rate. We disclose all that before you drive over this way. And then when you get here, you sign the paperwork and we set up a reservation for you in our campground. You're welcome to spend a couple of days 
And if you have any questions or need any type of uh, anything addressed, we are available. I'll be your host and do some urban camping. Our staff will be available to address any concerns. It's a great way to start out your ownership experience. This is a really nice RV, this Montana high country. Uh, so I'll be happy to uh, get you uh, more information, specific questions about how it's built, different things, whatever you're interested in knowing. Thanks for viewing my video and I look forward to hearing from you.